Its rumble is as big as Texas. It jars you. <laughs> you feel it. It leads the rally cry for hundreds of thousands of fans. It's a pretty big deal. And now, after a hundred years, the legacy of this iconic drum is a star. It's an absolute star. Will have new life. Big Bertha was born in 1922. The drum was originally built for the University of Chicago Maroon Marching Band, but in 1939, they dissolved the band and Bertha went into storage. Then she had a brief brush with Hollywood. She was used as a prop, advertising prop for the movie Stars and Stripes Forever. Even Moss did it, they? Which is the uh, life story of John Philip Sousa. Then in 1954, Moton Crockett, the director of the UT marching band, was looking for the biggest drum in the land and found Bertha. But the drum's owner wasn't going to just give it away. He told Crockett, I can't give it to you. Purdue wants it real bad, but I'll sell it to you for $1. It debuted at UT in 1955 and was named Big Bertha after a howitzer cannon because if you strike it just right, it resembled the sound of the giant World War I cannon that Germany had. They called Big Bertha. It's led the band ever since with stops in London, the Rose Parade, and two inaugurations. It's just a special thing to rally around. But the rhythms of restoration or replacement started about three years ago. It's not easy to say or even have a conversation about retiring this iconic, you know, drum. Rami Anton is a professional drummer in Austin. He's also the founder and president of Austin-based a and Drum Company. We worked to maintain the drum, keep its structure, and then I said, guys, I hate to say this, but I think Bertha's gonna need to retire and we're gonna need to build you something that'll last the next 100 years. Rami had two challenges. How do you build this massive metal drum and not have it be two tons? And how do we make sure this is the biggest bass drum in the world? He researched the metals, the materials, and old school machine techniques. There was a lot of cutting and drilling and going, uh, that didn't work. We gotta start over. On a mission. All of these lugs and components are solid brass. To make the new Bertha bigger, stronger, and lighter, leaving no doubt. It is the biggest bass drum in the world. It's about a foot and a half bigger than original Bertha. And so that's a big, it's a big deal. Talk about a war cry. Rawr! If we come this way and turn it. And the trailer had to be just as special as the drum. All of the little details, the gussets that were put on were to represent obviously everything UT. From the color of the handles, the shape of the horns, the year it was made. And the wheel post is the UT tower. The old Bertha will be enshrined at the UT Athletic Hall of Fame. She represents the Longhorn Band and is, is a great ambassador, has been for 100 years. It is the biggest, baddest, best drum that there ever will be. Also, and now Big Bertha's new legacy is rooted in Austin, made by hand and ready to rumble. Prepare yourselves, because that thing is going to rumble. It's going to rumble. It's going to be amazing. <laughs>